Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another day of what solds for you. Um, we're going to follow Kathy around and see what sold for us. You ready? Yep. All right. It's been so a pretty good day, right? Yeah, like I think 20 or more sales even. Um, so I'm going to do one sticky at a time so I don't confuse myself. <laughs> but eBay first today, so box S. Sold some other baby petty ped shoes. Uh, these guys I picked up. Uh, I forgot to write down how much I paid for them. It was either 99 cents or $1.99. And they sold for $14.95 plus shipping. They've only been listed a couple weeks. So. While I'm over here, I kind of wanted to show you guys. Look at the snow coming down. We, uh, we were just up here working away, no snow. And blinked for 20, 30 minutes and... We already got like a half an inch to an inch right now, so. All right, then I sold these Adidas Samba. Uh, these are youth size, so I picked these up at Goodwill for $7. They sold for $29.95 plus shipping. Pretty good. Um, I've heard a lot of parents say that they love those shoes for their kids because they're like almost indestructible. Hmm. You know, like how kids are really rough on shoes and those ones seem to last for a lot of parents, so. If your kid's indestructible, check out Adidas Samba shoes. <laughs> All right, DG. Uh, this is just that old navy black blouse that I got from the uh, bins for my stimulus check challenge. So I only have about a buck into it. It's just old navy, so obviously nothing amazing. So I did end up selling it for just eleven eighty eight free shipping. Um, so not huge money, but it's like only four ounces so shipping will be like 350 i'll probably profit five six bucks off of that uh then box bw i don't see it i hope i wrote the right letter <laughs> there it is work its way down to the bottom Uh, brand mud pie that's their logo i'm sure you've all seen it at some point uh anyways i got these at the marshall's yellow tag sale i think it was like three or four bucks into it and it sold for 17.95 plus shipping on that one i've sold others um i think i picked up four or five and i think there's just one left here so those have been selling oh my goodness <laughs> those have been selling off well Mud pie usually sells in that 18 to 20 range. So, all right, and then these guys I pulled down just because I needed their space up top on the shelf. Uh, there's some La Sportiva, like men's hiking boots. And these I only paid $6.99 for it at a local thrift and they sold for $60 plus shipping. Uh, $60, I had them listed I think at 70 or something and the guy asked if I'd take 60, which I accepted. For the shipping, while well, I said plus shipping, but he only paid eight fifty five for the shipping because somehow I marked it as a padded flat rate. So hmm. that was my bad. He lives in Connecticut, so it's actually going to be like thirteen dollars to ship these out, but that's okay. It was still a good enough profit, um, even though I'm having to like pay five dollars of the shipping. I still yeah. think I made like close to forty dollars profit on those. Mistakes guys. happen, guys. It's yep. <laughs> it, they just happen. Well, you learn so from it, like, right? I think it's because I've been doing some sell similars on my phone, like. Yeah. And I swear, every time I try to do eBay from my phone, it changes something up. So I need to stop doing it. But thankfully, it was just a $5 mistake. No big deal. All right. And then box O sold a little thing from my Fab Fit Fun box. All the way over here by Reesey Guy. I know I mentioned a few days ago that I was going to work on cleaning this all up. <laughs> you can it. see I didn't do any of it. <laughs> um, no, yeah. <laughs> Well, we've been working hard, just not on yeah. this, which I want to because it's bugging me. But. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a dry brush. It came in the FabFit Fun Box that I got. So I think with this and the two other items I sold, I've probably about paid for the $40 box. So everything I kept for myself is now free. And I think I have one or two more items that I have already listed. So if those sell, those will probably be profit. All right, and then box AC, last eBay sale. Back over here. This is just a Bowden, a chambray 
like, I don't know if it's a dress or like a tunic or a cover up. I listed it as all of the above, so. <laughs> um, I got this at Goodwill for only $7 and it sold for $35 plus shipping. So a pretty good little sale there. You grab the next sticky. This one is Posh and Mercari, so box AM. Sold these Disney car boots. Uh, these I have $2 into, they sold for $15. That was an offer someone sent me that I accepted. I'm glad those sold on Posh because they were over a pound. So like if they sold on Kitizen or something else, I had to pay close to $8 for shipping myself. But on Posh, obviously the buyer paid the shipping, so. I was happy to accept that offer. And then these ones I already had out because they just weren't put away yet. Uh, these, somebody offered me 30. I think they were listed at 40 or 50. Um, but yeah, $30. I paid $7.99 for these at Goodwill. They're just some Saucony running shoes. So I was happy to have a quick sale. And then box B.O. Yeah, it's just something I bought off thread up to change my thread up credit back into cash. So I think I'm only profiting like two bucks off of it, but I did get my money back. So I paid $17.99 for this. It's that Bobo Shows or however you say it brand. And it sold for $26. That was an offer someone sent me. And I accepted just because I knew I'd make my real $17.99 back plus a couple extra bucks. All right, and then last posh sale was CG pair of dance goes. All right, so these have been listed maybe a week or two. Um, I paid $12.99 for them at Goodwill, and I listed them for $50. I've been sending offers of $40 with discounted shipping, and somebody must have missed my offer, so then they re-offered today $38, which is basically the same as $40 with the discount shipping. And I accept it. So I made around 30 bucks and yeah, paid $12.99, so not too bad. Alright, and then Mercari had a few seals. One of them is these play sandals. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh, you alright? I'm good. <laughs> I knew it was gonna you do You caught that. it with your face. <laughs> Sure, size nine and the right color. So yeah, these guys. Uh, they sold on Mercari for someone offered me twenty four plus they paid shipping, so I accepted. Uh, I've said before I've paid ten dollars a piece for these guys, and on Mercari since they pay for a pound of shipping, these sandals are a pound, not a pound. Even in the box, they're under a pound, but even without the box, they're like over the eight ounce. So the buyer had to pay the $4.99 regardless. So I'm actually just gonna stick this box in a poly mailer mm -hmm. so that they can have the box if they want it and it doesn't cost them extra, it doesn't cost me extra. So on Kitizen and eBay and stuff, I'm saying new without box, but on, pot or on Poshmark or Mercari, I'm sending yeah. them the box. So uh, I've had this happen before where people have sent me shoes with like a label right on the box So I just didn't like you that and yeah, so I'm not gonna do that to someone I'm just still gonna put it in a poly. Well, and it, it fits in a poly extra, bag and they're extra protection. Yeah, we pay what 12 14 cents a bag. So Yep, so. may as well just send it in one <laughs> All right, and then box Z another pair of Saucony shoes Uh, so these were from the bins from my stimulus check challenge. So I only have about a buck into them. They sold for $25 plus shipping. That was an offer while well, someone asked if I would take 25. And I just said yes, because I only had about a buck into them. And she also paid the shipping, which was $8. So she's close to $35 all in with tax and everything. So I was happy with that. Uh, then I sold these guys finally. I'm glad to get stuff off the shelf. So these are some fry boots, um, really nice ones. Chris buffed them up a little with our Dr. Martin stuff. The Dr. Martin's wonder balls them. Yes. Uh, but while he was doing that, he noticed that there was a flaw here that I didn't notice when I bought yeah. them, but I still would have bought them because they were only $14.99. But anyways, for that reason, I listed them a little lower than I normally would have. Like these would normally sell over a hundred, I would say, but I think I listed them. I think I started them still at a hundred. 
and then I let an auto price drop down to like maybe 79 today I got an offer of 68 plus the buyer paid ship so I was happy with that and yeah I only paid $15 for them on my birthday trip when I was up in Denver so nice little foot there love fry boots all right, and then CE, so it's Crocs. Uh, so these are Crocs, like a um, plug, heel plug. <laughs> and these have actually been listed a while, so when someone offered me 15 last night, I was happy to accept. They also paid the shipping, which was over a pound, because those ones were heavy Crocs. <laughs> so yeah. I paid $5.99 for them originally, so not the best sale, but not the worst sale. Okay, let me grab my Kitizen sticky. <laughs> you can see we've already printed all our labels today, yeah. trying to be a little ahead of the game. So AT. AT. Oh, this is just a boys polo Ralph Lauren, like a long sleeve t-shirt. And I had it listed at 18 and I sent an offer to a someone who put it in their cart of 15 free ship and they accepted it. So this was a gift to us. We it's just not something we would put our kid in. So I listed it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, bought him something that we would put him in. <laughs> so that's all profit, but it's only about like nine dollars profit. Uh, and then this next one is also a gift as well, but it also sold to a viewer, Box CE again. Hopefully whoever watches this, <laughs> or whoever gifted that doesn't watch this. I don't think they do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this one sold to a viewer, I believe it's Zenny. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, so she, I think she had carded two items. I sent her an offer. I didn't know she was a viewer or anything. And then she um, messaged asking, I think she uncarded one of the items and then asked if I would do 18 on this. I had it listed at 20, I think. And I said, yeah. So I, well, I actually didn't message <laughs> her back because usually when people just ask for an offer, I usually just send the offer. Mm -hmm. So, sorry I didn't message you back, Zenny. I never opened the order even till today to see that you were a viewer or anything. But if yeah. I didn't know you were a viewer, I would have wrote back. So, thank you so much for your purchase. So $18 free ship on that. Again, that was a gift, so it's all profit after the shipping and kid is in fee there. So. And then this one I already pulled out because it was actually in our JBF consignment pile, but it sold, so I don't have to list it there. Uh, it's just an old Navy Lion shirt. Uh, this was my son's. I got it from Once Upon a Child for $3.50 originally, and it sold for $10 free ship. So made my 350 back and maybe an extra buck or two uh, i did notice that was going to colorado just up in denver so i didn't use a kitizen label on it i went through pirate ship because kitizen doesn't have a four ounce label anymore so i was able to get it for 301 through pirate ship mm. even though the kitizen fee is a little higher i did do the math it was like a i think it's 50 or 60 cent savings so again probably not worth my time but I also, the Sendo labels drive me a little bit crazy because yeah. our post office, I wait in line to get those ones scanned because sometimes they don't scan and then they're just MIA for like weeks. So yeah, I was happy to use the pirate ship for that one. Uh, and then box L. So um, these are some mini Melissa little cat shoes. And I just listed them this morning, and they sold for $29.95, which was the full list price, within just a few minutes of being listed. And the shipping's gonna cost me $3.85 on those. Uh, what was I gonna say about those? Oh, so like, I don't, they'll probably see that video before this one, right? The video of the shoes that I've been doing, working on? Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. If you watch our channel, you'll probably <laughs> see this video, but basically I challenged myself to Last Friday, our Once Upon a Childs, we have two in town. They had their annual, like, sandal kickoff. So they have sandals and then like, little shoes like this. Mm. Basically summer type shoes. Anyway, so I hit up both stores, got all the shoes that I liked or that I thought I could profit off of, which ended up being about 65 pairs. And then I wanted to see if I could list, well, source. The sourcing was about two hours. List, um not ship what is it like oh uh, yeah photograph list and then type them in our inventory and bag them and put them away all within like eight hours mm -hmm. which would be a typical work day because this is our job so 
just to kind of show people, a lot of people mention often that, you know, how are we listing so much because they can only like list five a day. And I don't know if those people are part time or if they just are listing higher valued items, which mm-hmm. obviously we don't list the t- Yeah, we have some higher valued items, but mostly, yeah. you know, most of our items are 25 to like maybe 50 bucks. So anyways, I, while I do list a lot of items often, I don't usually keep that good of track of time so Mm -hmm. this time i photographed well i video recorded myself doing it all Mm -hmm. and spoiler alert if you didn't watch the video i did (laughs) i was able to do it all in eight hours it literally took basically the whole eight hours so that did include the two hours of sourcing though so yeah if you take out the sourcing i could have done the cross posting in the same two hours so yeah i'm pretty happy with the outcome of it but anyways Mm -hmm. long story short those shoes were from that 65 item thing so yeah those were the first ones to sell and then i'm gonna pull another one shortly so two of them have sold in the first day that they've been listed and keep in mind that is basically 100 percent kathy i did not do anything (laughs) except help change batteries in the camera camera, um (laughs) So she was able to list 65 items and inventory completely yeah. by herself. I didn't even so help her inventory that. a lot of times he will help me do all the bagging and yeah. putting them away. But just for that challenge, I wanted to just see if a single person could do it. And basically, even though they're kid shoes, that one actually sold for a decent amount. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the way I did my pricing was I just took my receipts from the two stores instead of like... Like the mini Melissa's were probably priced at like four fifty, but some of the shoes were priced at ten. Some of them were priced at two fifty. Instead of typing in one by one, mm-hmm. I just um, added my two receipts together, divided by sixty five, and came out with four sixty eight a pair. So four sixty eight a pair. I think I'll profit at least ten dollars per pair after all said and done. You know, these ones technically are a seventeen dollar profit, but some Crocs are probably going to be like a nine dollar profit. So. Mm-hmm. I think when all is said and done, I'll profit at least $10 a pair, and that's $650 right. net. And, in one work day, essentially. Right, and obviously they don't sell off in one work day, but if we're listing every single day, which we do, that's how we are able to do this. So so you'll, you'll learn more about that <laughs> if and when you watch that other video. And if it is live, I will put a link up here in the cards for you. So. Thank you. <laughs> all right, and then box AX. <laughs> well, here I'll um, separate it so you remember to pull it out. Alrighty, and then these are just some crew cut shorts. I bought these for my son off kiddos in a while back, and he ended up not using them because last summer when they fit him, we didn't really go anywhere because of COVID. So uh, I paid nine dollars for them. They sold for twelve dollars free ship, so I'm losing a buck or two off of them, but that's okay. And then last but not least, box B E over here. These were the, another pair that sold from my 65 shoes. So again, I have 468 into each pair and these sold for $25 free ship. I'm not sure if these are gonna be a $5 shipping label or a $5.75, but either way, I should profit over $10 off of these guys, even after fees and everything. So yeah, busy day, but that's what we're working on. So we'll go ahead and get this <laughs> stuff all packed up and Let's see. It's about five till three. We'll see how long it takes to ship all this stuff real quick. All right, guys, we got that stuff all packed up. It is 333. To take a little bit longer, we had to resize a box for those fry boots. Um, and we took our t- took our time for the most part, but we did have one more sale. And we're gonna go ahead and pull that and ship it real quick. All right, so that was in BP. a pair of bag, Patagonia baggy shorts. Um, I also got these off the right up, just trying to get my money back. So I paid $10.99 for them. They sold for $25 free ship. Uh, shipping's costing $3.85. After kiddos and fee, I make $18.11. So small profit as well. Um, we did have a question though, like about using a Dymo for like kiddos and Mercari, how they don't just print normally like Poshmark. Yeah, so we'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay. I do plan on doing a dedicated video at one point because it is hard to reference back to some of these what sold videos. 
couple weeks from now, we'll forget which video that we put this in. So I do plan on doing a dedicated video in the future, but... So I'm just going to open my email. It's pretty easy. So with Kid is in, you get the email. I'm going to find my label. I'm going to have to rotate it. So you just get the PDF. I'm trying to stay far enough away to keep the <laughs> private information private. But um, So I always have my Dymo thing already open oh, yeah. down there. But if you don't, you know, just open your Dymo thingy right Dymo here. comes with a software. So then I had an old label there, so I want to delete that. So and you'll then see this button at the green top. Green grab here. Yeah. at the top. Then you just kind of, and I'm cutting off some of it, so I'm gonna start over. Screen grab again. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is not how I normally do it. <laughs> We're flustered because we gotta get going, but. All right, there we go. So grab the whole label, insert it, and then just pull it out. If you don't have the option to like pull it like that, it's because yeah. you just need to click insert right here. Right. Um, that's like when you first open the app thingy, it always is like that. So then just print and it'll print normally. Comes right out, just like that. So takes a few extra seconds, but. Yeah, it's really easy. And once you get the hang of it, uh, you'll be able to do it like it's just another thing to do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and finish packing that one up. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, we got to get going. Probably <laughs> the roads are probably a little bit icy right now. It's been snowing nonstop since we've been up here. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.